You know what's on Criterion channel right now, and it's a tough watch, but a fascinating one, is a documentary called uh, The Emperor's Naked Army Marches On. It's one of the best documentaries I've ever seen. Oh, uh, this is a movie, going back to Errol Morris, I found a list of Errol Morris's favorite documentaries. And um, on there was, you know, uh, Land Without Bread, the Boomwell movie, and uh, Man with Movie Camera. But on his number one movie was The Emperor's Naked Army Marches On. It's basically a documentary about a, a Japanese soldier from World War II who was part of a platoon, and once the Japanese surrendered, soldiers in his platoon tried to uh, leave, and they were shot and killed by, you know, a group of generals uh, were ordered ex- executed. This guy survived this, and now, and he's been seething about it for about 40 years, so now it's 1980s, and he takes a film crew with him, and he goes and finds these colonels. And they're these nice old men. And he goes into their houses and places of business. One guy owns a restaurant. One guy's retired. And he very politely comes down and sits and chats with them and says, you, you know, you, you did this. And uh, I want you to admit that you did this on camera. And if you do not admit it, I'm going to kick the shit out of you. The guys go, I don't know, get out of my house, whatever. And this guy calmly starts taking off his jacket <laughs> and just, it's just starts beating the shit out of these guys. <laughs> and, and it's just, it's a revenge documentary. It's just this guy is so angry and you kind of go, well, who's insane here? This guy's acting insane. And that's just not the way human be- beings work. Right. But also, how do they think that this guy's going to just forget this? You know, they were just following orders. They were, you know, <laughs> like, and you see them and one guy is just, hello, hi, you know, a little at a restaurant, you know, he's the manager at a restaurant, very sweet man, you know. He has, and, that, and you get very anxious when he shows up because you're like, oh, this guy's about to get beat up, you know. You're basically watching this guy these old war veterans and the wounds are still there the wounds are still fresh and you get to see the psychology uh, of that war and it also i think the most interesting thing for me about the movie is is he insane or is what he doing a virtuous thing and it's a very thin line he's acting insane and you're watching him be insane but then you're thinking about what he's gone through and you're kind of going well who it really messes with the uh, morality of the of, of the whole thing, but also the uh, just what war. I'm just totally simplifying it, but what war does to people, and uh, and this guy wanting justice and just looking like an insane person and committing crimes. He's walking into people's houses and beating wow. them up, and it has a thing in it which I love, which is a real fight. I grew up like you watching movie fights. And then when you would see a fight in life, you went, wow, that's not oh, yeah. it's like a movies. And this one, you know, there's one guy, he's at his house, he starts beating the shit out of him, and the guy's fighting him back, and the guy's wife is screaming, and his son comes in, pulls him off of him, and then they just start talking. And then they kind of almost seem like they're friends. <clears throat> and then the guy says the other thing, and then they start getting mad again, and then they start fighting again, and now they're in another room, and he's hitting him with shit, whatever, and then they kind of separate him again, and they start chatting again. And then the cops show up and escort the guy out. And when they start escorting out, he starts fighting him again, you know? And it just, it just, it, it, and, and there's a 16 millimeter camera sound just there getting all this. Oh my God. And, um, <clears throat> it's really, really powerful. And you do watch it going, that man's insane. And, and you don't want him in your house. But then you're thinking, what well, what drove him to this? It feels like weirdly just wow. why it's happening to him. I, I think, I don't know if Joshua Oppenheimer has seen that, but when I saw the act of killing, I went, oh, God. But what's interesting about this, where act of killing is this kind of fascinating kind of lesson to this guy, you know, making him recreate it, you yeah. know, and having to look at himself. This thing is more just... Um, you know, I just, uh, it, it's, it's like, uh, what you do when you, you're at the end of your rope. It is just one of the most powerful films I think I've ever seen. Yeah.